as Indians, even though most of the people around us had Indian blood, um, a lot of times the experience was horrible. They, we were degraded, we were insulted. It was, it was terrible, especially when we moved to St. Ignace. Girl Cap was more of a community of Valmstall family, but St. Ignace was terrible. And even though some of the people down there were related to us and had Indian blood, we were, they just insulted, they were insulting and rude. I mean, it was terrible. I'd say there was a lot of racism in the Sioux. Because I remember when we were kids, and some of the people from the other parts of town, you know, we'd go up town or something, and uh, some of the uh, people up there would say, get back to Shunk Road, you Shunk Road Indians, Shunk Road bums and stuff like that. Because that's the kind of life we had down there, you know. We didn't have water. We had outside toilets. And uh, our family, I think my mother got, we had clothes that we didn't have any insulation. So my mother would go to rummy sales and buy clothes and stuff, you know. And that was hanging all over in the house and probably for insulation, I don't know. To us, we were Indians and we didn't band together and we worked in construction jobs or anything like that. We never, we just, amongst the rest of people, you know what I mean? If you're white or you're whatever you were, if you had a job to do and you were working, you're on where you had to work together, I don't care who it was. And when in the Sioux, they were, they were more like they, they were, they, they, the Sioux, I think, I'll give it to you this way. The Sioux was the most prejudiced uh, place I ever worked. We had foremans and everything there. That they didn't have no use for Indians at all, or not, they didn't have anybody, no use for nobody but themselves. They're white people in the Sioux, and I think it still holds true up there yet to a lot of that. But what I've read in the evening news, like about all this thing that's going on in Chunk Road, uh, they're having a, a time and a half of way those people has put it to those Indian people up there. They just seem to can't understand that some of that money was to be appropriate, was appropriated for those people to use uh, for their benefit. Now, I saw all this in the paper. And I think you probably did. I was born in Indian Town here in Manistique. So it was all, all Indians lived there at the time. It wasn't very nice. We lived in a shack. Um, going to school here wasn't pleasant. But, uh, in fact, um, they used to lock us out of Lincoln School. They used to say, uh, you carriage children, step aside, you stand over there. And then they let all the other kids go in ahead of us and then they'd slam the door and lock it on us. And then they'd holler through the door and tell us to go home. So we'd go home. So I, at the time, I really didn't realize what was going on, you know, till later on. Because they never really did say, well, because you're Indian, you don't belong here. They just shut the door in our face. If you grew up in a town like Munising, the Indians had like their own chunk road in Munising too. And it always made me proud when I was on the board when they built the houses in Wetmore. And the Native Americans moved from what they call Brown's Edition up in the Wetmore housing. And after they moved out of the housing, I'll tell you how bad it was that they bulldozed most of the houses down that the Natives were living in. We um, talked a mixture of French and Indian. so. When we started school, Ray and I, we had a terrible time. Um, uh, our school wasn't, um, there wasn't that many Native Americans in that school. And at least they didn't own up to it and say, hey, I'm Indian, you know. And, and my father never did either because um, if he'd have said he was Indian, he'd never got any work. The other kids made fun of us, um, especially me. Uh, I was a, a gypsy, a dirty little squaw, dirty little Indian. Uh, I had <clears throat> one good skirt, one sweater, and one nice blouse, a nice pair of shoes. And I'd go to school in the morning and when I'd come home at night, I'd take that whole outfit off and, and wash it out and dry it and iron it and wear it the next day. 
and uh, so when it came to the next year and I had to go back to school I I told my mother I tried I started I went to school for maybe a month or so and I told her I can't handle it I can't uh, can't handle the kids, the other kids. They were really nasty. And you know, uh, right to this day, I, I meet some of these kids that uh, said the nasty things to me and everything. And um, Well, I think back in the... Um 50s and 60s that we were just I don't think they thought we were serious I think they thought we were just something that was there and if we don't talk about it it'll go away but well, it didn't go away We've come a long way we didn't go away um, I can remember in my own childhood back several times you know having to actually physically fight because I was you know I was never I never denied my my heritage um, and I had to uh, my son, I, you know, I, I taught him to always be proud of his, uh, and he's had to have a few little scraps when he went to school over here at uh, what was Finlayson at the time. Kids would laugh at you, but, uh, never, uh, you know, and then now uh, our kids are very proud to be called Native Americans. Um, I think we've come a long way. You know. But as far as teaching us anything, no, he didn't. I don't know if it was because the way we were, we were treated, uh, being Indian, that he didn't want to pass that on to us or what. And I think that had a lot to do with it, I really do. Because he felt that if we practiced that, it would be ten times worse for it than what it already was. So, like I say, we lost out a lot on our culture. It was a sad thing to do. Like my girls and I were talking the other day that it was sad that there was two bullheaded people wouldn't give an inch, you know. And we lost out. We really did. What I have found out is by reading in books. And my grandmother, my great-grandmother, you know, she couldn't speak English. So when she would tell us a story, we'd just listen, you know. We had no idea what she was talking about. But I wish, I often wish, that they would have uh, taught us a lot of the stuff that got lost. It really did. In fact, it's just in the past recent years, I think, that some of these... Uh, Things have come back. These, the pipes and all this, these things have come back. I think are getting more well known. But when we were children, there wasn't too much. I don't think anybody got any place to do anything much. We all knew we were Indian. We knew some of our history, but even then, we didn't pay as much attention as we should have. Because, you know, I guess we were just resentful of the fact that we were treated like we were, you know. So we didn't pay that much attention. Heritage I wish we had. Well, I think that the Indian community has become much closer than they were before. They were, they were close before, but they became much closer now. And before that, our children, kids, they hated to admit that they were Indian, but now they're proud of it. And it seems to be getting better all the time we're going ahead old saying, if you don't go ahead or if you stop, you're going backwards. Well, we're, we're still reaching out to, uh, to go ahead and get, get something better for our people. I think we're making great strides. That's one thing that, being on the board, you, you have seen just in the last 10 years, this tribe has just grown tremendously. And, and we are, have got people coming out from down below and all over where we never heard from them before. That means a heck of a lot. And there's a lot of people care about the tribe. And uh, now when you walk down the street, you can look somebody in the eye and say, we are independent. And that means a lot to me. They were, I think people thought, looked down on them all the time. Do you understand what I mean? 
I had a hard time learning that I was as good as the rest of them until my mom told me I was the only real American. <laughs>